I'm Brittany Ford. It's a well-known problem that owners are giving up cats and dogs. But what about other pets? One organization tells me that surrenders of exotic animals are up 800%. Iguanas, peacocks, bearded dragons, and kikachus. Oh, they're very misunderstood. They're all animals you may not consider to be pets, but... My name's Nick. I'm the owner of Houston Underground Animals. Nick Louise, independently funded rescue, takes in these very critters of all shapes and sizes. He says just like the dog and cat influx in shelters, space here has become premium. What I've been doing is trying my best to just take all the animals in and give them housing. There's two different sides. It's really a two-sided sword, I guess. A problem, he says, exploded in the last six months, but can be traced back to the spike in the pet market during the pandemic. The new toy kind of thing wears off, and then they have an animal a responsibility that they're taking care of. Exotic pets that require specialized food and resources. And so they will literally take them and put them outside. That are ending up in his hands. To animals, they rely on you entirely. Louis's message to anyone considering owning an exotic pet. I just really want people to know if you have an animal and you cannot take care of it, we will take it in and find someone who can. I'm Brittany Ford reporting.